I think the deputy MD talked about the two reasons, one being that China's first quarter growth rate reached a 5.3 percent, and that is much higher than the market expectation. And that is, again, on a solid basis um, from the previous quarter, uh, 2023, that growth was 4.5 percent. So this is already high growth on top of a high base. And second reason is, um, you know, she mentioned a, a very much sort of a slew of uh, policies that are uh, in the pipeline, and some of them are rolled out as we speak. So there is the, on the consumption side, for example, there's the trading programs that is going to increase, you know, spending by about $140 billion. And that is the effective, you know, boost on the demand. We also have the physical policy that the, gov the central government has rolled out a one billion, uh, sorry, a one trillion Chinese yuan uh, ultra long duration bonds, and that would again help um, to boost on the fiscal side. We also have seen, you know, policies to stabilize the uh, housing market, and we see, you know, for example, lowering the mortgage payments and lowering the mortgage rates, and also government sets up, you know, close to forty billion dollars to purchase housing to destock uh, the inventory. And finally, we are also seeing, you know, strong growth on the export front, and so all of these, I think, um, you know, support this upward uh, revision which I think is very much, in, at this point, I think is still rather conservative. I think, you know, 5% is well within the reach of this year's growth target.